Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos. I'm uh, in Krakow, Poland now, and I've got my bag. And so I'm gonna show you how many things I got in this bag, how full I jammed this bag, um, and, and how much crap I actually got in here. And then I'm gonna talk about, or show you the corners and, and how much wear it's taken so far. I've gone through the Philadelphia airport and other airports and, and a couple taxi rides. And I'm sure by the time this year is over, I'm gonna have traveled um, man, more than most people travel in a lifetime. I know I've got uh, Ukraine coming and uh, Russia and, you know, tons and tons of places. But anyway, I'm going to walk you through and show you all those things back there that I got in this little 21 inch carry on bag. That's it, everybody. I think it's a 21 inch, 23 inch. I don't know for sure, but uh, uh, the bag's wonderful. Thanks a lot, and uh, subscribe, and I'll share my stuff with you. Bye-bye, everybody. All right, everybody. Well, I made it to Poland, and my little bag did a good job. You can see my little green strap around here. I just didn't want it to uh, explode. I, uh, I really certainly have stuff for this, and I guess that's what I wanted to share with you all, is how much stuff I actually got in here. Ugh. Um... So you can just see how big they are and how well they do. So the, the pounds came to about 35 pounds um, of stuff inside. And uh, which is quite a bit in a little, what is, I think this is like a little 21 inch suitcase or something, give or take. Um, let me get this out of here. Right. So anyway, so let's see how much stuff we are able to get inside this. So this has gone through now the Rome airport, the Poland airport, the Philadelphia airport. Everything seems to be really good. Wheels look good. It doesn't look too scuffed or beat up or anything else. Um, and so here we go. Okay, so here's one of my, my, my peeves with these kind of bags. It has a strap on one side, and like I was saying before, it had a cover, but the cover was a specialized cover for like shoes or for, you know, maybe dirty clothes or for whatever. And I'm sure this particular bag was probably not made for going um, as far and as long as I'm going. But I'm going to make it work. And uh, so let's see what we got. So I've got a raincoat. I've got my um, extra uh, toiletry. So Q-tips, some um, NyQuil, some, just some basic stuff, uh, thermometer, clothes, pins, and all that stuff. And then I've got, let's see what else. So my charger for my Mac, an external hard drive, a, a lock. Okay, so now we get going. So I've got my little adapter in there. So two little adapters, which is wonderful. Let's start here. So I've got, let's see. So here's a shirt, one. And here's a pair of jeans. And here's another shirt. And a pair of socks, and another pair of socks, and another shirt. So that's three shirts. I've got my washcloth because some places don't have washcloths. I've got my dirty clothes bag that I take with me, which is really just a, a pillowcase um, that's got a sewing on the end and it's really wonderful. <laughs> I throw all my dirty clothes in there. And then I've got a towel. I got my binoculars and uh, a pair of underwear, don't look. Okay, so how many shirts was this? This was one, two, three shirts. Here's another long sleeve shirt. Um, in here, so I, I guess I could just roll these out, but so there's a pair of socks and a pair of underwear and then another shirt. And then here's another one, another shirt, and here's another one and another shirt and another one. I'm just going to roll it all out so you can see exactly what we're getting here. Um, sorry, I'm not shooting this. 100% should have gotten a cable. Um, okay, so another one. And then uh, what else? Oh, a scarf, a hoodie, 
long johns, because it's Poland, another pair of socks, another pair of underwear, another shirt, another shirt with uh, socks and underwear in it, um, another shirt with socks and underwear in it, a pair of shorts, uh, uh, my travel bag, so I use this for um, carrying food. Like when I go on a day trip, I can refrigerate my stuff. I've got a bag full of Ziploc baggies. I've got a chain that I can lock up my computer with. Gosh, and then I've got more. i got my razor so I can stay pretty. I've got a whole utility kit full of stuff. I've got another pair of jeans. Uh and another pair of shorts. So let's talk about this. I've got one, two pair of jeans, one pair, two pair of shorts, and now the shirts. One, two, three, four, five, six, they feel thick, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 shirts, a jacket, 10 pair of socks, 10 pair of underwear, um, my, uh, a pillowcase, a washcloth, a towel, my chargers, my scarf, my hoodie, my long johns, my, my bag. So, <laughs> um, it certainly, Oh my gosh, I mean, you know, a, a jacket. I mean, that's, that's pretty crazy. You can get all that in there. Um, it's amazing. So the only thing, the only thing that I, I think I have an issue with so far is that, and it'd be easy to fix, is just to get a strap from here to here so that when you open it, no matter how you open it, this one's got this side, but no matter how you open it, it, it doesn't fall or cave in and, you know, and make you have to repack everything and start all over again. I think that's about it. The only other thing is too, it's so full, when you go to shut it, because it makes a sandwich, so it's like these pieces fit together in here, so when you shut it, this little rim goes in this crease, so it really seals it very nicely. But another problem is you have to really tuck in all the things around the edge just to make sure that things don't get pinched and you know so like you know if, if something was sticking in there and you know sticking over when you shut it then you have to go around the whole thing and tuck it all in and then kind of make sure it all stays tucked in um but it was a carry-on size and that was amazing so a carry-on bag 12 shirts 10 socks 10 underwear two jeans Two shorts, geez, crazy. Anyway, so I love the bag. <laughs> and it really, I, you know, I, I, I put the strap around it only because I didn't want to see it, uh, you know, because it's my first time for traveling with it. I didn't want to see my, my underwear splayed all over the, the, the turnstile with uh, everybody else's luggage. But, uh, you know, um, I think when it's this full, it might be kind of precarious if, if the TWA people open it. Um, but, uh, but, but still, still a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful bag. Nice. Certainly strong. Okay, so I will probably find me a Velcro strap for that or something, or maybe a, maybe a rope. I, you know, I, you could probably even do a bungee cord maybe, you know, just to keep it from flopping out, you know, just like I did when I opened it. Um, you know, and knowing what's right and wrong. So, so even if, so think about it this way too. So if, if people are looking at this, that get to make the decisions, you know, you open it this way, but I would think that this would be the top. So I'm opening it like upside down because I would think this would be more of the top. So it would be interesting or better if maybe there was a logo here so that you always knew this was the top side. I mean, I guess you can just go this way, but I would think that's the back side, not the front side. But, but if you open it this way, these straps hold all your things in there and gravity holds all those in there. Anyway, that's it, everybody. Thanks for coming along. Now I gotta put it all away. <laughs> Bye.